Information tonight in a missing Charlotte woman's murder. Anastasia Beaters went missing in June of 2016. Her remains were found last January in a wooded area off Bridgewater Lane in Mooresville. Tonight, this man, Timothy Crumite, is suspected in her murder. He's already serving a life sentence for the attempted murder of her mother and the murder of the mother's boyfriend. These deaths, not the only crimes Crumite is connected to. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is in Iredell County tonight with the very latest. Well, this is the missing flyer. Anastasia's family was passing around at stores and also on car windows. It wasn't until about three years later they learned of her tragic death and now her accused murderer. A trail of murders and mysterious deaths follow Timothy Cremitti. He's convicted in the murder of Michael Gressinger, the attempted murder of his girlfriend Kimberly Cherry, and now charged with the murder of her daughter Anastasia Meters. She was reported missing in August 2016 at the same time her mother was shot by Cremitti. Then in January 2019, human remains were found. We recovered approximately 70 different type of bones. In October, DNA linked a tooth to Anastasia Meters, and this week, Cremitti was charged for her murder. The sheriff believes she was killed before her car was found abandoned in this park in Mooresville in July 2016. We definitely think it was a ride because the vehicle was abandoned, and obviously our victim did not do it. Uh, from the evidence inside the car. Long before Anastasia's disappearance, Cremitti had a troubling past. In 2005, investigators say he was arrested for the murder of his business partner, Danny Johnson, but the case was dismissed months later. Then in 2013, police investigated the murders of his wife, Sharon Cremitti, and James Banks. Investigators say it supposedly involved Banks shooting her during a robbery at the Cremitti's home, according to the report. And Timothy Cremitti claimed he shot Banks during a struggle over the gun. Then in 2016, deputies say an older woman who Cremitti befriended died under questionable circumstances. That was just a few months before Anastasia was reported missing. Now investigators say they're working to resolve some of the other cases. And coming up tonight at 6, an exclusive interview with Anastasia's sister and some creepy stories she has to tell about the suspect that led her to believe he was the murderer early on. Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.